Hi, and welcome back to the C-Sharp Beginner Tutorial Series for the Stride Game Engine. In this tutorial, we'll learn the difference between the local and world position and how to retrieve those values through the transform component that is attached to an entity. As you can see, I've loaded up the transform position tutorial scene, and there are two objects in this scene that are of interest to us. First off, we have a parent object, which is this red box, which is placed slightly further along the z-axis from the center of our scene. The center of our scene is coordinate 0, 0, 0. And this red box, if we would select it, as you can see, has a z-coordinate of 1. It's also placed slightly higher above the ground so that it doesn't sink into the ground. Then our child object, which is this blue box, it's positioned at coordinate x2 and z1. The value that you see here in the transform component is always the local component, so relative to its parent object. However, in some cases you want to do something with the world position, or sometimes called global position. In order to get those values, we need to address the transform component which is attached to every single entity in our scene. As you can see, the transform position demo script has already been attached and all we need to do is write some code. Inside our script, I'm going to first store the local position in a variable. And we can do this by saying entity.transform and then simply using the position property. In order to store the world position, we also need to go to the transform. The world position is calculated inside the world matrix and that's where it's being stored. Now that we have these two values, let's print them out to the screen. And let's do the exact same thing for the world position. Now let's go back to the stride editor. The easiest position to guess is the local position of the child, which we already can see here in the transfer position. So x2 and z1. But what is the global position of our object? We know that our parent is already placed at coordinate 1 on the z-axis. So all we have to do now is add the z-axis position of the child, which is also 1. So for the z-axis, we know that this is coordinate 2. Since our parent has the x-coordinate 0, we know that the child x-coordinate needs to be added to it. So in this case, it's going to be 2. That was an easy one. Now let's run the game and see if this prediction is true. OK, the game has started, and let's go to the transform position scene. And there we go. We can see that the local position is x2 and z1, and the world position is x2 and the z-axis is also 2. And that's pretty much all you need to know about the world and local position of an entity's transform.